So we will try to discuss what is the difference between primary variable, primary secondary and the distributed pumping system for any chill water applications. So here in this, you can see there is a plant room over here and this plant room is actually connected with the, uh, the primary variable pump when the VFD has been integrated over here to the primary pump and this chill water is being pumped with both of these pump to the load side, uh, which is air handling unit or the coil. This typical arrangement is being called uh, the centralized uh, primary variable system. Now let's go to the primary secondary variable system. In this particular thing here you can see chillers are say, they are available and now the VFD is not connected to the pumps which are there in the primary uh, uh, application. The pumps are connected, uh, the VFD is connected to one more set of pump which is called the secondary pump and now the secondary pump is becoming variable and pumping water to the load and the HUs and the hot water is coming back and with the help of primary variable again the water is being chilled through the chiller and uh, uh, being pumped to the load side. This typical arrangement has been called to the primary secondary variable. Now the third is the distributed pumping system. When the primary pumps are already there, the secondary pump which was typically available is being relocated to the load or the HUs or a different building wherein the chill water is being pumped. So instead of having a bigger pump of secondary, we have split the requirement in multiple applications and based on the applications, the pumps are being designed and incorporated. This saves a lot of energy and the investment also. This configuration is called the distributed pumping system. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video.